JBN will keep you informed. I'm Michelle Jones. Before we get into the news, please remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and to share the news with someone today. Now on to the news. Gas tanker driver arrested following seizure of loaded gun. The police on Tuesday arrested a gas tanker driver following the siege of a loaded gun during a traffic stop along Michael Manley Boulevard in Kingston. His identity is being withheld pending further investigation. Reports from the Elliston Road police heard that, at about 7 a.m., a police team was on duty in the area when the driver was observed committing breaches under the Road Traffic Act. The motorist was stopped, he complied, but started to act in a manner that arose the suspicion of lawmen, according to the police. The vehicle was searched and a Glock pistol along with a magazine containing 16 9mm cartridges was found. The driver was subsequently taken into custody. St. James security guard charged for shooting customer during confrontation. The police in St. James have charged a security guard for shooting a customer during a confrontation at the business establishment where he worked. Charged with wounding with intent, using a firearm to commit a felony, and discharge of a firearm in any public place is 52-year-old Richard Black of retirement in the parish. A court date is being finalized. The incident happened on Monday, November 18. Reports from the Montego Bay police are that, at about 1.45 p.m., Black was at work at the establishment in Fairview, Montego Bay, when he had an altercation with a customer that became physical. It is alleged that Black pulled his license and firm an open gun for the complainant, hitting him in the back of his right arm. A report was made to the police and an investigation was launched. After reviewing CCTV footage, Black was arrested and charged. Man with more than 200 unpaid traffic tickets arrested for goat theft. A man with more than 200 outstanding traffic tickets was on Tuesday arrested on suspicion of pre loss in Guanabara Vale, St. Catherine. The police said a car in which the man was riding was seized with four goats believed to have been stolen. Another man is being sought in connection with the incident. Superintendent Upton Nicholson, commanding officer for the St. Catherine North Police Division, said sometime before 11 a.m., members of the pre loss prevention team signaled the driver for white Toyota Pro Box to stop, but he disobeyed. The motor vehicle ended up in the cane field, and the driver, along with one of the occupants, eluded the police there and then. The motor vehicle was searched, and four goats believed to be stolen were recovered in that motor car. Superintendent Nicholson said another police team was alerted, and they set up a roadblock nearby where they intercepted a car carrying one of the men when they escaped from the first vehicle. The man was arrested. This individual has over 200 outstanding tickets that are not paid, and that will be treated within the appropriate forum, said the senior cop. The public is being reminded to purchase farm producer meats from legitimate sources. Police K9 unit joined search for missing Manchester autistic teen. A police K9 unit was unable to detect the scent of missing autistic teen Georgiana Bramwell during a search for her in Spice Grove, Manchester on Wednesday morning. Police sources said the K9 unit spent over three hours in the remote community in the search, which started a week ago. Relatives said Bramwell, 15, was last seen on November 20, around 1 p.m. at her home, wearing a pink top, blonde white jeans, and brown slippers, with her hair style with a large twist. Jamaica Labour Party aspirant in Manchester Northwest Damian Young said the search is still ongoing with residents and relatives combing through the remote area. Even at this time, the search is still on the way throughout the community. Spice Grove is heavily vegetated and has a hilly terrain. We are still encouraging citizens from the surrounding areas to be on the lookout, he said. There is still hope that we can locate her, he added. He said the police advised them that the dogs were unable to pick up a scent due to persistent rains affecting the area. Firefighters had also joined the search, which started last week. JDF soldier arrested in $47 million fishing scam. A Jamaica Defense Force JDF soldier was arrested Tuesday morning for his alleged involvement in a fishing scam that has defrauded the National Commercial Bank, NCB, of over $47 million. Reports were that between April and June 2022, the funds were illegally accessed from a number of accounts held at NCB through an online phishing scam. It is further alleged that the stolen money was subsequently transferred to various beneficiary accounts, which have since been used to withdraw funds or further transfer them to other banking institutions. Agents from the major organized crime and anti-corruption agents in Mocha and officers from the counter-terrorism and organized crime branch of the Jamaica Constabulary Force made the arrest at 10 a.m. It is reported that the lawman picked up the soldier, who is suspected of being part of an organized criminal syndicate, and took him to his Kingston residence, which was searched. Mocha said an address linked to another suspect who is currently in custody was also searched. A number of electronic devices were seized during the search, 
and charges are expected to be laid shortly, Moka said in a news release on Tuesday. This morning's arrest highlights the commitment of Moka and his law enforcement partners to dismantling organized crime networks and holding accountable those involved in complex financial crimes. It also underscores the importance of collaboration between intelligence, investigative, and the technological capabilities in tackling cyber-enabled financial crimes, said Major Basil Jarrett, Director of Communications at MOCA. Major Jarrett went on to thank the JD for its collaboration on the matter, noting his zero-tolerance approach towards illicit activities of its members. The JD has a long history of discipline and integrity and is determined to preserve that reputation. Their support and partnership on this case was invaluable, he said. 23-year-old charged for robbing elderly man in downtown Kingston. A 23-year-old man has been charged for robbing a senior citizen who was awaiting public transportation at North Parade in downtown Kingston is Michael Lang, otherwise called Mark, of Charles Street and Rose Lane, Kingston, who have been charged with robbery with aggravation. He is scheduled to appear before the Kingston and the St. Andrew Parish Court on Wednesday, December 4. Reports from the Central Police are that at about 8.04 p.m. on Monday, November 11, the elderly man was at the bus stop when he was approached by Leng, who reportedly removed his wallet from his back pants pocket containing $12,000 and other personal documents. The elderly man realized what had happened and tried to retrieve his possessions. However, Leng brandished a knife and then fled the scene on foot, according to the police. A report was made to the police and the Leng was subsequently taken into custody and charged on Tuesday, November 26. Manchester woman injured in hit and run dies. A Manchester woman who's injured in a hit and run last week has passed away in hospital. Robina Hall, 50, of Chudley District, died on Tuesday morning. The incident remains under investigation by the Christiana Police. It's reported that, at about 4 a.m. on Thursday, November 21, Hall was walking along the main road in Chudley when she was hit by a vehicle. The driver sped away. She was assisted to hospital where she was admitted. British man fined $750,000 for cocaine in slippers. Glenn Mason, a British man who was held with one and a half pounds of cocaine hidden inside two pairs of slippers at Montego Bay Sanks International Airport on September 30, was ordered to pay a total fine of $750,000 when he appeared in court today. Mason, a 53-year-old resident of London, England, wore a resigned expression on his face when he appeared in the St. James Parish Court for a sentencing hearing. He had pleaded guilty to the charges of possession of, dealing in, and attempting to export cocaine. During today's hearing, Mason's attorney Sue Wynne Phillips urged presiding judge Natisha Fairclough-Hilton to show leniency to her client, citing his excellent social inquiry report and the fact that he has been unemployed since 1996 due to a work-related accident. Phillips also noted that Mason's spouse, who had been helping him with his legal fees, died recently and that other family members were not able to assist him at this time. But, in passing sentence, Fairclough Hilton told Mason that his actions helped to put Jamaica's reputation in a bad light. Far too often, persons visit this beautiful country, and on their way out of this beautiful country, they are held with cocaine. What that does is that it tarnishes the name of this beautiful country, said Fairclough Hilton. I have to send a message to those who think that Jamaica is a safe haven for them to come and export cocaine. Mason was ordered to pay a fine of $200,000 or spend three months in prison for possession of cocaine. $250,000 or three months for dealing in cocaine, and $300,000 or four months for attempting to export cocaine. The facts are that on September 30 at 4.15 p.m., a police team at the Sanctuary International Airport in St. James conducted surveillance of outgoing passengers boarding a flight to London when Mace was approached by the lead officer and his luggage was searched. Two pairs of zippers which felt suspiciously heavy were found in his luggage and subsequently examined. Four parcels of a white substance resembling cocaine were found inside the zippers and the mace was arrested and charged. JBN will keep you informed. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.